Hey guys, so today is Thankful Sunday, also known as Mother's Day today. I hope all of you mommies out there are having a great Mother's Day and everyone is spending time with their mom in some way or another. If not, just give them a call, a quick text message. I'm sure they would appreciate it. So I have my sample Sunday, like I said. I also call it hashtag 365 days of samples. I was able to use up a lot of samples this week. Still working on quite a few that I will run through real fast, but first let me show you the samples that I did use up. I used up my Basha. This is the Pore Purifying Black Strips. And this just was one black strip. Honestly, I find that the Biore the Bior black, like blackhead stripped works better than this and is cheaper, so I wouldn't recommend this. This was like a black, I guess it had charcoal or something. It was just a black strip compared to my normal white that I used with the Biore ones, but it didn't pull up as much gunk from my nose or like pores, stuff like that, that I wanted from this product, especially since it's a little bit more expensive. So I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm glad I tried it to compare against that. Oh, and I have to repaint my nails. It is Sunday, so I have to repaint them. They're a little chipped and look hideous, but those will get painted later. I'm um, very happy to say I used up a cleanser that I was working on. This is the Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. Looks like this, and there's just air left in it. Ooh. No product anymore. I really enjoyed this exfoliating cleanser. It had just enough exfoliating particles to really make me feel like I was really washing my face. Um, didn't make my eyes burn or anything when I got a little too close. Doesn't have like a huge fragrant scent. I really liked it. However, when looking into this product, I don't know if you've seen my like beauty products causing cancer and all that kind of stuff. I've gotten into two apps and they pretty much I can put this product into that app and it'll tell me um, the ingredients in here and there are parabens in this Murad product. So I don't think I would rush out to get this. It was a really nice exfoliating cleanser but there's some out there that are a little bit better for you ingredients wise so I would not repurchase this Murad exfoliating cleanser right now but I did really like it. The next thing I used up was that Paul Mitchell. This is the Detangler Super Rich Conditioner and the bottle is completely empty. I had probably one and a half uses left of this. Um, I have pretty long hair. My hair is drying right now but um, I did really like this cleanser. It left my hair feeling very soft. Um, they're calling it like super rich. I don't think I'd rush out to get this Paul Mitchell conditioner, but I really did like it. Um, but compared to like my suave conditioner that I think I had in my last empties video, which I'll link down below, I don't think this is worth the money. Also used up my little fragrance here. This was the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. As you can see, I started right at the second line and then I used it completely up this week. I really enjoy this product. I've had a full size, I've had a rollerball, I've had another little thing of this. I really like it. I would um, get a rollerball of this for like a gift or anything, but I think I'm going more into like the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream. Uh, compared to the scent, I prefer that Marc Jacobs one, so I'd be happy to receive this and get this again, but I think that Marc Jacobs is a little higher up now. And then, I wish I had another sample of it. And then the last thing I used up, which is on my lips now, this is the Bite uh, Agave Lip Mask, and this shade was Champagne. So as you can see, it was like a little heart sample, or oh, lip sample. And um, I do have it on my lips now. It gives like a nice pink, like shimmer sheen to your lips. And I really do enjoy this product. I This probably had about four applications for me. That one little lip had four applications. I tried to use it in the morning when I was putting on my makeup. I will put this on and then when I get to work, I'll put on, like eat my breakfast, take it off 
and then put on real lipstick. So I did enjoy this. However, in watching reviews and things of the full size product, I've heard that the packaging starts to flake and sometimes it's hard to actually get the product out of that squeezy tube. So for that, this isn't like a favorite must have for me, but because of the packaging flaws in the full size, I don't think I would rush out and get a full size of that. So I used up five things, I'm very happy about that, so I will pick five more things for this next week, but real fast going through, um, I didn't use a lot of progress on any of the other ones, so I'll just remind you guys really fast what I have left. I have two of these Bite Agave Lip Masks. I have the Natural Shade and Smash that I'll be using. I'll probably use the Natural this week. I'm still working on my Authermel Avon Spring Water. I am currently down to right about there. Still working on my Dr. Brandt 3D Filler Mask. I've gotten quite a big kind of dip in the bottom of the jar. So happy about that. Still using my Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. And then these other products I didn't touch. I didn't touch my Basha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. I didn't use my Glam Glow Thirsty Mud, so I'm still right at there, halfway done. Didn't touch my CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. And then, for some strange reason, I didn't use the Dior Forever Big Card, which has the Base Day Tint and the Forever foundation and light beige. So hopefully I can work on these this next week. I don't plan on going out of town or anything like that. I just got back from Brawley uh, today so that's why I'm kind of not using these products as much as I should because I'm traveling a lot. But this week I will be home. So I'm going to pick out five things out of here to just mix in with those. So I'm just going to draw them out. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so I have this Estee Edit. This is the Flash Photo Gloss. And it has a cool blue tint. Helps your teeth flash selfie white. Let's see. So this is um, kind of just like a simple lip gloss that I recently got and I'll probably apply this over like lipsticks things like that this week and then I got the Vasanti brighten up enzyme face rejuvenator this is another exfoliating cleanser so I'm happy to have another one to try out kind of compare the ingredients this is the Kate Somerville exfoliate intensive exfoliating treatment and I've had this sample for quite a while I have the Fluid Sheer Giorgio, Giorgio Armani. I don't know why that was so hard to say. This little foil. And then I also have the Basha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. So those are all the things that I used up this past week and am going to be working on sample wise for this next week. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.